If you count on Metro, you know the track work can pop up at almost any time. In fact, a major shutdown is just days away on the orange and silver lines. That's right, and there's also some intense work happening on aerial bridges that Metro operates. News 4 transportation reporter Adam Tuss is out there in the system with everything you need to know. Metro maintenance is hitting high gear. Everything from replacing 40 year old rails to installing fiber optic cable will be happening during a big shutdown. Now, this next round of work starts June 3rd and runs until July 17th, and a number of stations between McLean and Boston and Vienna and Boston will be closed. There'll be no silver and orange line service, but shuttle buses will be running. Rider Brianna Lewis isn't happy with the work, but she does say it's needed. Yes, it is. I, I do. I think about it a lot because I take the metro and the buses everywhere. And we've also gotten some questions about this work that's happening right now on Metro's aerial piers along the red line near the Grosvenor station. Metro has a huge program underway to fix and repair these important bridges that carry trains. You see the train coming here on the aerial structure. You know, Metro has about 130 miles of track throughout the entire system. 20 of those miles are this aerial structure, and each train can weigh as much as 680,000 pounds. This is what it sounds like as some of those trains roll overhead. John Smith lives close to this work on the red line. He's been wondering about these markings that have developed. I saw these little hoses or straws sticking out of the concrete, and then I, I, I walked over here and looked, and I saw, you know, a lot of cracking. Metro engineers tell News 4 this kind of cracking is common with new concrete as it settles, and the straws are being used to inject a strengthening epoxy inside. Metro's general manager telling us recently these kinds of maintenance issues cannot be put off. So we got to stay on top of things. If we do that, the impacts are less, our construction periods are less, and everyone has more reliable service and safe service forever. For now, the work goes on as Metro tries to stay ahead of the maintenance curve. Along the Metro system, Adam Tuss, News 4.